Hi, DIY Dave here bringing you another great how-to. Uh, this one's around golf carts and the rear seat and how to reupholster it. Uh, I had the unfortunate event where I was actually using the cargo portion of my golf cart. The rear seat folds down into a cargo bag and it gets flat. Uh, when I did that, the one side of the seat actually just started hanging off. It just dropped down and kind of folded in half. Um, not in half, but three quarters, but you can clearly see that there was an issue. And this is the issue right here, as you see. It completely, uh, completely, completely, like, it just fell apart, right? Look at, look at this. It's complete junk. Um, this side's okay. There's no moisture there. For whatever reason, some moisture got in here. I don't know how that actually happened. Uh, I keep my golf cart uh, protected at all times in an enclosed shed. Um, I, I am thinking it probably was uh, with the car wash or the golf cart wash. Uh, I did let my kids use the hose. I did step away for a second, and so it's entirely possible that's what happened. Uh, but still, I don't think that the maker, which is EasyGo, uh, should be using this. And I gave them a call, and they basically said, sorry, you're out of warranty, um, almost almost uh, you know, two months out of warranty. And they said, tough. Uh, really nothing we can do for you, uh, which I, I find to be, you know, pretty pitiful. It's pretty sad. And, and you know, I really love the product, really love what they what they do with the golf carts. I really love the body. But then um, to see this in their rear seat is really disappointing. It's, it's complete crap. It falls apart. And golf carts are on a golf course. It gets wet. It rains on. And so I guess this is a fairly common problem uh, because we are part of a local group here. And I um, posted saying, hey, anybody have this issue? And in my community, there was uh, several people who actually were doing the same exact thing uh, today, doing the same thing reupholstering their golf cart seats because it fell apart. Uh, so um, clearly this is an issue. And so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, take some plywood and I'm going to create a template. And from that template, we're going to then uh, start the process to reupholster this. So that process would be to uh, get a base, get a new base, uh, three-quarter inch plywood. And uh, you'd have to draw a template around this. But as you can see here, it's kind of falling apart here. So uh, we're going to have to do a best way to do this. Uh, I'm going to let this dry out completely. I'm going to take off all these staples. I'm going to show you the steps in which I go through. And then we'll go from there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seat and I'm going to make a template with this uh, plywood. This is three quarter inch plywood by two by four. You can buy it at any uh, hardware store, uh, any big box retail hardware store, and you can get this really easily. Uh, it's great because you can fit in your car. You can go and, and get it. Uh, and at times you do get wet in a golf cart. It does happen. Um, so this is a much better board. All right, well, it's going to be better than it was before. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a marker. And I'm going to first, I short everything up. I made sure everything was, was lined up properly. So you want to make sure everything against the board. Um, because what you're trying to do here is get an exact replica. And I'm going to use the corners that I already have. This is the tough one. You kind of have to push this one in. This is where it fell apart. So this is going to be your best estimate of what you can do. And you're going to have to cut on the inside line. So here I'm going to do this. I have a nice solid part right here. And essentially you're just drawing out a template. And it's real soft right here. And then it'll be a turn. Okay. You get a turn here. Get a turn here. And then really get inside here. And then it's going to get really soft over there. But... You can use your straight edge and you can, all right, so this is where it gets really soft, really, really soft. But really what I'm going to do there instead, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, just line it up and I'll show you in that step. I'm just going to line it up to make sure it's nice and straight with the level. All right. All right, next step. In this step, what I did is I drew a straight line with a level, um, shored up against a carpenter square, made sure everything was nice and straight. I marked my inside line so I know where to cut. What I don't want to do is I don't want to cut on the outside line where it's jagged because then it would be too big. Um, so that, that helps me guide where I'm cutting. Same thing on this top line right here. I want to make sure I cut on the top line and not the jagged line. So it's an important step. Uh, all you need is a level and a carpenter square or anything you can use to get a straight edge run across. Uh, you want to kind of make a box, but then you're going to cut your corners off. So now I'm going to use my circular saw and just cut straight across both ways. 
Uh, this makes it easier, makes it faster, makes the cuts more uh, clean, and then I'll clean it up with a jigsaw. Oh, perfect. Look at that. So now I'm taking the jigsaw, and what I'm going to do here is just cut out the curves um, so it's rounded out like it is as part of the original board. Um, really important, you want to get the right contours for your, your project. So now I'll start to sand away, and, and if you have a sander, sand at it. And you, what you want to do here is you just want to get it nice and smooth. You want to round it out so that it's nice and comfortable when you sit on it and when the vinyl rests on it, you don't damage it. All right, now in this step, um, got to remove the staples. And I know over here it's pretty easy. You just go in and I can just peel these out uh, because it's in front of the board and the board is falling apart, although some, some of them are going to give you some trouble. Uh, this board is pretty rotted. But let's see. Let's see if there's a more difficult. Now the key here, man, these things are in tight. The key here is not to disturb the vinyl. And so, oh, that's pretty easy. Alright, so then you go through. And I guess what I'll do here is take this and pull it out. Alright, so you gotta go and painstakingly do this. So now what I what I found is really, really uh, successful in doing this. Um, I'll give you a close-up and take a look at this because I think that's a really important step. All right. So you see here, what you want to do when you get this, you want to go not this way because if you go this way, you can damage the vinyl. If you go on top of the vinyl, try to dig that out. You want to go under the vinyl here and towards the middle. Right, you want to make sure you have some apply some tension. Kind of dig into the wood and go from side to side. One side's going to come up, and that side just popped up. Now you want to push the vinyl down. Uh, grab a tool. This is just a pair of basic wire cutters. Um, it's good for grabbing. And then you, as soon as you got that up, which that came up, I kind of bend it up and pull straight up, and it comes right out. Hopefully you have uh, better access to tools, but I find that this actually works really well. This You find a small uh, small tip screwdriver here, uh, like this, and I have this basic wire cutters, and it's really doing the job to get these staples out. And so you just got to go through this whole patchwork here, uh, the whole area, and just take up all the staples. That's your next step. Um, see you in the next step. In this step, I'm going to use quarter inch by 5 16 uh, T-nut fasteners. Uh, I opted to use new ones. I didn't want to have to go and dig out the old ones, so this is just an easier step. I put them directly in the holes in which I drilled uh, from the rear of my golf cart, just lined it straight up. Uh, again, these are a quarter inch by 5 16th. Uh, use the ones that are appropriate for your golf cart. Um, here, you know, I, this is for a vacation home, and I, and I seem to have misplaced my hammer, and I have limited tools here. And so here I'm just being uh, improvising, and I'm trying to get the best way to get this down. And as you can see here, it's a perfect fit, nice and flush. They're not going to feel those fasteners. All right, so now it's time to put the vinyl back uh, intact, and you want to overlay this on top of the pad, and, and you want to catch it onto the board below. Uh, here it's important. you got to make sure it's nice and snug, so keep pulling. Uh, it's sort of like making a bed. It's actually exactly like making a bed. You just want to get the corners first, uh, pull on the corners, and then you start pulling on the sides just to make sure everything is nice and snug. Uh, and you just keep repeating that process. You don't want any air pockets or air bubbles, so you want to push them out uh, and keep pulling down on the side. Uh, once you feel like it's nice and tight and snug, you're ready to go. Uh, you then just flip it over and you start stapling away. Now here, you, what you want to do is you want to make your corners and you just want to pull the one side and you fold the other side over. Uh, I found pull the one side, fold it over and put a staple in there works the best way. Uh, this way you get your starting point. Once you have that corner locked in and you have your starting point, what you do is just go all around and you just start stapling away. Um, really important, pull as you staple, right? You staple and you pull. Pull, staple, pull, staple. And you just rinse, repeat, and do that process all the way around. Um, really important, really pull, really make it really snug so that you don't have any folds, bends, or air pockets. And if you happen to get an air pocket or it starts to not line up, what you do is you just go through that process of removing the staples, dig it out. Uh, and just correct yourself. Start over, 
uh, on the area where you need to start over and just, just do it all over. This is vinyl, it stretches, it's real easy. Uh, and then what you'll have, you'll have a nice um, reupholstered rear bench or a bench. And wow, look at your seat, look at this seat. It's just like it's brand new. What I do here is just clean it up, just get all that dust off, uh, make it nice and shiny, and you're good to go. And so congratulations if you went through this. Uh, it's, it's a great thing. You don't have to bring it to the golf shop. Uh, they charge an arm and a leg for this. Uh, it's really easy to do and you know that's the point of why I do this in my channel is to show people when things are easy to do they're really easy to do as long as you have the right tools or if you can borrow some tools um, which which is probably the case uh, you can do this yourself you can get this done you just need to get get on there and have confidence in yourself uh, and and just know look if I can do it anybody can do it right uh, I'm not a pro at this I've never done this before once in my life so if you have this problem, get out there and tackle it. You can do it. I know you can. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Um, consider giving it a like. Hey, these are the things I try to bring to everybody is um, how-tos on just general uh, home improvement, uh, golf cart improvement, uh, automobile maintenance, uh, things of that nature. And, and you know, I, I try to do it in a way that makes it easy for people to uh, read and follow along. Uh, again, by no means am I a professional at this. I, I, this is not my profession. I just love to do things myself, and hopefully you guys do too. Um, and, you know, hopefully see you around, and happy DIYing.